This program is brought to you by Harvey Norman. Clearance on now for a limited time only. Welcome back to McGregor here in Brisbane in beautiful Queensland. How good's Queensland? Yeah. I love this place. I love it. May not be coming home. Just turn my phone off for a couple of weeks. I'll be right. Um, just, you'll find me in a pokey place somewhere. Now, the very good people of Harvey Norman uh, don't just make it possible for us to go around the country, to hang out, to have so much fun each and every month, but also they are huge supporters of sport and particularly champions of female sport. There has just been the very first three-game series in the state of origin and for female players, there are tens of thousands of women playing rugby league and he's part of this incredible series worth celebrating because Queensland won! Hooray! Okay, that's cheap heat. Roll this up. Queensland loves its footy and for rugby league players in this state, there's no higher honour than being able to pull on the maroon jersey in state of origin. For way too long, it's an honour that only men have been able to dream of. But now, women can do it too. Thanks to the support of Katie Page and Harvey Norman, the women's game has grown exponentially. Did you know that there are 40,000 female participants taking part in rugby league activities across the country this year? That's the biggest ever. And now it means that women can dream of wearing that jersey and competing for the Harvey Norman Queensland Maroons in a three-game series. Two of Queensland's best are Julia Robinson and Romy Tietzel. They tell us how it's been incredible to watch the women's game grow year after year after year. Those young girls who get to play in the junior clubs throughout the whole um, junior, junior years and be able to play rugby league at school now, um, they're going to have a great like step. Like, they're going to have that big step in front of other girls. Setting up young girls for um, success is providing a professional environment at such a young age. and. A lot of the local schools here have rugby league programs for girls and um, they're able to develop and grow in those spaces before they come out and they'll be taking over our spots as NRLW players very shortly, I guess. This year's State of Origin series has been amazing. Game one in front of 25,000 fans was great for New South Wales. They got up 22-12 and the icing on the cake was the 85 metre try by the wonderful Jamie Chapman. Again, it's the Blues galloping up there. No one is going to stop Jamie Chapman. And even the pouring rain couldn't stop the origin spirit for game two when Queensland were able to draw level in the series thanks to a late field goal from Lauren Brown. Lauren Brown scoops the ball up, goes for field goal. It's wobbly, but she's kicked it. Which means, for the first time in women's origin history, we have got a decider. One game for New South Wales, one game for Queensland, and it's all on the line. Queensland got off to a flyer, leading 14-0 at half-time. They were all over New South Wales, and this incredible effort from Julia Robinson summed it up. Last play. It goes for Aitken, this time on the right. Her kick through the line. It's still there. Knocked backwards by New South Wales and fallen on by Julia Robinson. Queensland have another try. They're out by 12 points. New South Wales were able to get some life after half-time with a 90-metre intercept try by, you guessed it, Jamie Chapman. Here's Taryn Aitken with numbers. She passed it straight to Jamie Chapman, who gets away from Aitken. She now knows. she winds up. She's a leg of the field specialist. You are riding with Jamie Chapman, who goes on. Ultimately, Queensland triumphed 22 to 6, meaning they just didn't win the game, but the state of origin title stays here in Queensland. What an absolutely fantastic series. And as everyone knows these days, it's only going to get better because young women are more focused and energised and supported than ever before to reach their origin dreams. That's only possible thanks to Harvey Norman, thanks to our mate Katie Page, and thanks to the fans who back these women in each and every year. It's pretty surreal, to be honest. Um, growing up, I never had any female role models in the rugby league space. Not many girls played rugby league, and especially in a small town, I think that was something that um, didn't really happen and not many young girls got involved. It will get to the point that girls won't have to work and that all they have to do is go to training and play footy. 
Amazing athletes, lovely people. We'll meet you in a second. But speaking of Harvey Norman, here in early September, the McGregor Homemaker Centre is going to be opening. It's going to be South Brisbane's premier homemaker shopping destination, housing two of Australia's leading retailers in both Harvey Norman and Domain. It's going to be located on Kessels Road in McGregor, just 12 k's from Brisbane CBD. It'll uh, boast over 23,000 square metres of premium retail space. 520 undercover car spaces and service that is the best in town. So make sure that you pop on down to Harvey Norman McGregor. will be open in early September. But would you please welcome Jamie and Julia, the stars of Origin this year. Thank you. Well done, guys. Thank well you. done. Now, Jamie, I want to ask you when, you, when you make a break and you're going, that's the line, long way, how far out are you going, jeez, how long do I have to run for? Because... <laughs> Like, do you, do you just, how did you just, the adrenaline runs, you focus, you fire, how do you, how do you do it? Oh, Origin's a very fast game and um, you've got to make the most of every opportunity that you get. So um, when I saw the opportunity open, I, I just went for it and honestly, I was feeling like that. As soon as I got the ball, I went, oh God, I'm going to have to run here. <laughs> and then I, you know, I went for it and um, lucky enough, uh, I got to the try line. It's, I have a similar athletic feeling. Um, <laughs> Oh, the letters have been delivered. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, that's generally my process. For you, Julia, congratulations on, on winning Thank the you. series. You were both laughing, um, hopefully not at what I was saying, but um, looking back at highlights, how does it feel to be able to now that it is the expectation that you're going to have highlights, you're going to have the commentators, you're going to have the crowd, like all that fantasy that you had as, as a young player, is it still weird to watch yourself back like that? It is. Like, I feel like um, it's kind of a dream come true and it's a great, it's a great thing for um, women's sport in general. So it's, like, it's awesome to see that we're getting that support and we having the commentators and, like, the live TV on, like, Channel 9 and everything. So, yeah, it's awesome for us, um, us girls, to have that opportunity. But even to talk about, like, you know, even a couple of years ago, right, um, some of the great successes that you had weren't seen on television they're, or they're seen at a certain time when people aren't seeing them. In those... those early parts of your career compared to your phone blowing up after Origin. What's that feel like? Does it feel like a world ago that, you know, a couple of years ago, just the number of people watching you was different? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm only still one of the young ones. Um, I'm the youngest in the New South Wales team and um, I don't feel it, to be honest, after all the footy I've had. But um, even from when I was coming through, I was a development player and um, we were only getting paid a few thousand dollars and um, we still have to work a, a full-time job um, at the moment and, and juggle both football and, and a job. But um, to see where it's come from just in the short time that I've been a part of NRLW, then... It's, it's come so far and, and um, it's growing so fast and so rapidly and um, thanks to all our sponsors, our fans and, and all the young girls pushing us to be better. So the, the wonderful thing about Origin is we've all known as fans and then obviously you guys as players, right? Do, do you go through the same process that a fan does when you turn around and you go, OK, we won game one or we lost game one, that's OK, we've got game two, all right, don't worry about it. Well, if we do this, like, is it, is it all or nothing regardless of whether it's game one or game three? Yeah, I feel like you have to treat every game as, like, do or die. Like, um, I feel like, especially in our second game, like, it was do or die for us. We had to, like, win that game or it was done for us. So I think we always, like, prepare, like, it's just another, like, another game. So we don't... We can't... Like, we obviously re reflect and review the first games, but we can't treat every game as, like, another game. So yeah. going, going hard. <laughs> Which bit hurt the most after the game? Oh, um, always when you see in Queensland lift up that shield, I think yeah. I, 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 looked the, I looked the opposite direction and I was just doing like this. So much sympathy uh, in the room too. <laughs> I mean, you really feel for the New South Wales, oh, look, isn't that just terrible? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for everything that you're doing uh, in your career, the inspiration that you're mm. giving to, to young women all over the country. Congratulations. Give it up for them. Thank well you. done, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jamie. Thank you very much, Julia. Now, also, oh. I've got a special... You don't get to win this prize. I'm about to... You, you're going, oh, I'm going to get some... No, you have to, no, no more prizes for you. Thanks to the good people of Harvey Norman. No, no, no. Oh, backhand is like, it's all good, don't worry. Uh, OK, now I have got a $500 gift voucher, thanks to the very good people of Harvey Norman. I'm about oh, to give wow. it away here. So, do you have a yellow ticket if you're in the room? All right. Does it have the number... Or the letter D in it? If it's ticket 47, you just won $500 gift voucher from Harvey Norman. 
Winners in the room? Why does this... There's a hundred people in a room. No one's gone. It happens every time. No, thank you. Congratulations. Well done. Thanks to the good people at Harvey Norman, the immigration stories opening uh, around uh, late September. Thank you very much.